Edward Theodore Gain, born on the 27th of August 1906 in La Crosse, Wisconsin. His mother raised Ed and his brother Henry to believe that the world was full of evil. Frantic to protect her family from the evil which she believed lurked around every corner, Augusta insisted that they move from La Crosse. As a result, Ed Gain only ever left his family's isolated farmhouse to go to school. But his friends remembered him as socially awkward and prone to odd made him an easy victim of bullies. Despite all this, Ed adored his mother. He absorbed her lessons, though Henry sometimes stood up to Augusta, Ed never did. So it's perhaps not a surprise that Ed Gain's first victim was likely his older brother. In 1944, Ed and Henry set out to clear some vegetation in their fields by burning it away. As they worked, their fire suddenly got out of control, and when firefighters arrived to put out the blaze, Henry was found dead from asphyxiation. Henry's death meant that Ed Gain and Augusta had the farmhouse to themselves. They lived there in isolation for about a year until Augusta's death in 1945. Ed then filled his days with learning about Nazi medical experiments, studying human anatomy, and consuming porn. Then in November 1957 a local hardware store owner named Bernice Worden vanished, leaving nothing behind but bloodstains. Worden as a 58 years old widow, had last been seen at her store. Her last customer was Ed Gain had gone into the store to buy a gallon of antifreeze. Investigators found Bernice Worden in the kitchen as they stepped into Ed Gain's house. She was decapitated, and hung by her ankles from the rafters. There were also countless bones, bowls and kitchen utensils made from heads. However, worse than the bones were the household items Ed had made from human skin. Authorities found chairs upholstered in human skin, leggings made from human leg skin, masks made from faces, a belt made of nipples, lampshade made from a human face, and many more that shouldn't be explained. Along with the skin items, police found various dismembered body parts, including genitals of nine different women. They also found the remains of Mary Hogan, a tavern keeper who'd gone missing in 1954. Ed Gain readily admitted that he'd collected most of the remains from three local graveyards. He told authorities that he wanted to create a woman suit so he could become his mother and crawl into her skin. He was found not guilty by reasons of insanity in 1957 and sent to the Central State Hospital where he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Ten years later, Ed was convicted for the murder of Bernice Worden, but just of Bernice Worden. But how many people did Ed Gain actually kill? Until he died in 1984 at the age of 77, he only ever admitted to murdering Worden and Hogan. The other bodies that was found by police as many as 40 in his home, he claimed he'd robbed from graves. Ed Gain inevitably stands as one of history's most disturbing serial killers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.